All right, now we're going to turn to breaking news in the wake of the Oxford High School tragedy. Tonight, the parents of the accused shooter ordered to stand trial. We have team coverage from the courthouse in Rochester Hills, and we want to begin with 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell with the judge's decision. Kim? Yes, the focus of the hearing today came down to ordinary care. That is the legal phrase for the care that a parent has to provide a child to not be legally responsible for actions that the child commits that are hurtful. And the judge agreed with prosecutors that James and Jennifer Crumbly did not provide their child with ordinary care. The court finds that the deaths of the four victims could have been avoided if James and Jennifer Crumbly exercised ordinary care and diligence in the care of their son. 52nd District Court Judge Julie Nicholson ruled James and Jennifer Crumbly should face trial for four counts of involuntary manslaughter for the deaths of Tate Meir, Madison Baldwin, Hannah St. Juliana, and Justin Schilling, the classmates of their son killed when he allegedly shot 11 people at Oxford High School in November. In court today, an Oakland County Sheriff's Sergeant described what was allegedly found in Ethan Crumbly's bedroom after the shooting. Prosecutors shared pictures of a coin with a Nazi symbol, a dresser covered in rodent feces, ammo, and target shooting silhouettes on the wall. They shared surveillance video of Ethan Crumbly at firearm stores with his mom target shooting. They shared messages Ethan sent a friend saying he asked his mom and dad to take him to the doctor because he was suffering from hallucinations and a mental breakdown. But his dad allegedly told him to suck it up. There is nothing in those texts that says I believe our son has the gun at school and is going to commit a mass shooting. Correct. Defense attorneys argued James and Jennifer Crumbly did not know their son was a danger. The message from prosecutors is that James and Jennifer Crumbly did not know because they did not provide ordinary care to their son. He wasn't taken to the doctor. He asked for help. I mean, you all heard the testimony over and over again, and they were just indifferent. So the, the fact that he they had medical insurance available and didn't use it is just one more piece of this complete disregard. You know, they didn't care. There were times in court when they also read a journal that Ethan Crumbly allegedly wrote in which he described his plans to carry out a school shooting. There was emotion in the courtroom as it was read that he planned to kill a pretty girl with a bright future first. People had to leave the courtroom in tears. Reporting live, Kim Russell, 7 Action News. Certainly disturbing testimony. Thank you so much, Kim.